Welcome to the Blue Scissors Podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Blue Scissors Podcast. I'm Shannon. I'm James. I'm Jaja. And we're back bringing you all our thoughts on everything happening in nerd culture. What is up, guys? What's How going on? A little tired. I was just tired. telling you guys. Mm-hmm. I guess I'll start off with my nerdy things. Um, yeah, what's here? So, yeah, two days ago, I went to went out with some friends, some work friends, to a bar, and it happened to be like this retro hip hop bar. Like, um, I knew the DJ. He's friends with uh, one of my friends from my job, and. He was playing straight like 90s, 80s hip hop. And then it was like Wu-Tang Clan, 36 Chamber stuff everywhere, like Nas stuff and like some nerd stuff in there too, like some Marvel plaques everywhere, graffiti on the wall. They had like student desks that you could sit at and stuff like that. And what was funny actually (laughs) is that you walk in, the DJ's playing at the table right to your right. But if you walk past the DJ and just step up on this platform, there's like this room that's like, uh it's like a grandma's bedroom like literally like one side of the wall is just like there's just a couch going around the whole wall but when you're um facing the other wall it's a big tv a dresser like an old wooden dresser under the tv um to the side there's like a bookshelf with like a whole bunch of vhs's that uh that you could just pop in and just watch while you're while you're there you know, at the bar, they had like a little Nintendo there that you could play. There was a whole bunch of like old boom box, and a lot of retro stuff. It was a lot of retro stuff in this bar. It was a really dope bar. It's called The Commission. Shout out to The Commission. So nice. um, that was pretty dope. Went to work the next day and then had a D&D session after. And, you know, both was alcohol involved. So I'm a little, I'm recovering from that. And <laughs> yeah, my character's level three. I actually, we actually killed a... a was it a Kraken or a, I think it was a squid, but we kept calling it a Kraken and making jokes. And um, yeah, I killed it with a dagger. My character had a dagger and I had to kill and blow. It was really funny because I rolled a D20 on the blow. So, you know, I, being me, I did it mad dramatic style. Like I popped up out of my chair, Dragon Ball Z style, and just <laughs> stabbed the Kraken. And it was really funny. I made it a real theatrical thing. So yeah, I'm having fun with the D&D. It's, 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 it's Can interesting. You- can you explain to me how I still don't understand how D&D works because like I hear people talk about like people have campaigns that last for a long time. What de- what determines the length of that? Of like a um, It depends on the, the DM, the budget master, however he's running things like Got it. everyone has it a different way. Um, my the guy that I have um, running mine, he's had campaigns that lasted like months, years and, and some that years. were really short. You know, wow. Yeah, there's, these things can run a really long time. Like, there's really no end to it unless I guess you die. I guess I don't know. I don't know. I haven't okay. got there yet. But it's seemingly okay. an endless experience as long as everyone's able to get together and do it. That's what that's what the main cause of like campaigns ending is people not being able to get together and do it anymore. Got it. So, okay. Yeah, we could do a whole segment on DMD. We could talk. I could probably invite the guy up here and like. Yeah, and we should do another one. It. We did one a very yeah, long time ago. That's a Blur's Nerds throwback. Yeah, we did one mm-hmm. a long time ago, but like even then, like I still don't understand it. I don't think I'll ever really understand the game or ever play it, like for real. But like it's fascinating to me, for sure. I, I, my DM explains it really well. He has a lot okay. of experience in it. Like he yeah. will definitely be able to break it down. Tell him to come um, on the show. Would love to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I already told him. Oh. I already told him. He he, he knows. So okay. whenever we're ready. Um, my other nerdy things. Mm-hmm. Still playing Tales of Arise. I haven't got too deep into it, but I am having a blast with that game. Okay. Um, watching One Piece slowly but surely. Um, I'll give an episode update next week because I don't. I didn't get too far this week. Uh, Demon Slayer movie. Saw that. Um, I don't know if we want to talk about that now or later. Uh, we could Did talk about it? it. No. Well, I told you I couldn't see it because I was. I'm far behind on Demon Slayer. Did you but... see it, James? No, I didn't go see it. Okay, could, so you real can quick, give yours. You spoiler yeah, free. I mean, free. yeah. Spoiler free. Uh, uh, review is so it went through like the last two episodes of the season right. that we were on, and then probably did like the first two of the next one. 
Um, yeah, it's just like a recap movie, right? It's not like anything. It's it was it was the first half was recap, and then the second half was brand new. It was brand new, but okay, but part, yeah. okay, okay, continue. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but the first part of the movie, they recapped all the the arcs in a very dope way. I like the way they did it. Okay. So. It was really cool. And I, I just got to say, Demon Slayer, I'm going on the record and saying that anime has some of the best information. Like, oh, easily. Like, yo, Demon, like, everything is so crisp. You don't want to take your eyes off the screen. So, because every, every, a lot of stuff is happening really fast and just like, oh my God, it looks so good. Like, I wish I could just watch Demon Slayer in the movie theaters and not on. Crunchyroll, because I know I used <laughs> to say like it on Crunchyroll looks yeah. movie like quality, but like the movie Demon Slayer is like oh shoot, it's crazy. So yeah, even though like like watching the the so what happened in my experience was I didn't I don't think I watched the last episode of the season, and if I did, I didn't remember it. So mm-hmm. when the movie started, it was like oh crap! I it it, it started off like right where I remembered it ending for me so everything seemed kind of new so um but uh even watching that last battle over it was absolutely insane like it's different in the movie theaters you got to see demon Slayer in the movies highly recommend phenomenal um and then i finished avatar which is also phenomenal yes we can talk about that later but yeah that was my nerdy things it was really good nerdy week for me awesome look at you back back to nerdy stuff Back at it. it. Uh James, what did you do? Uh let's see. What I I had a fairly chill week, had a little bit of time off to get myself back together. Um, but I bought Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Um, I had pre-ordered it through Best Buy. So I, I didn't get no pre-order bonus. I, I didn't get the steel bookcase. So they they really did sell out. Um dang. And then actually when I picked it up, because I, I placed my order ahead of time, so I went to the desk and picked it up. But then I went back to see like what physical games do they have because I heard Best Buy took out all their physical stuff. Uh, and they, yeah, they barely have anything back there. I heard so that. Even, I heard that too. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't even have Final Fantasy um, on the shelf. So I, it either sold out or they just didn't stock it because yeah, some of the, they, they barely had any games um, that you can just walk in and buy. So that's, uh, that's getting, it's getting scary out there. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, do you think that everyone's going to start doing that soon? They might. Well, the, uh, it's looking well, that way. I mean, I guess certain people can't do that. Cause like how would GameStop be in business if they didn't sell physical games anymore? Yeah. And then, I mean, like half the consoles be, I guess. are, yeah, half yeah. the consoles are digital only. So yeah, well, they don't, they don't have as much market share as they, they would have normally. Yeah. Or they used to have actually. Um, yeah. But oh yeah, last time we, we mentioned like, how, what is it like when you get a physical game and then you try to play it? So I had, I did have to do the day one update, but it was only like 20 minutes. So um, once I, once I put the disc in, so that it came on two discs, there's the data disc and the play disc, the data disc I had to put in first. And then yeah, it only, it was like 20 minutes of. Oh, that's like it? A, up, that's all it took to install update. it. Oh. Yeah. So then, it, yeah, it said ready to play in like twenty minutes. So, oh, okay. Physical, I guess that, physical isn't uh bad. So I guess that I'm, changed. I'm, so on Xbox, when the while it's updating or installing, like it's ready to play before it finishes installing. Like, and sometimes yeah. it won't let you play like the full game mm. until it installs. So, yeah, there was some know. other stuff still going on in the background, but yeah, like as far as like being able to boot up the game, yeah, it's about about twenty minutes. But the question is, did you finish the first game? <laughs> That's some of my nerdy things, Jeff. So I finished the first game. Woo! I was up till about 3 wow. a.m. last night sweating. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, did you have yeah, trouble with Sephiroth? Did you beat it? Did, you, did it take multiple tries to beat him? Or were you? Were you no, I beat him the first time. Wow, look at you. Yeah. See, I don't know where these allegations of I only play shooter games come from. I'm a, I'm a gamer. Through and through, because you because you 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 confessed that yourself like a year ago. Yeah, you've just I'm a grown gamer since then. Through. We have that on we have that on evidence. <laughs> Don't make oh, us so, pull it back up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The toughest boss for me though was uh Abzu. I think that's his name. The when you go into the sewers, that it's like a I don't even know what it is. It's oh, this thing like where the, it has some horns. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah. yeah. The yeah, toughest um, boss for me was the Hell House in the Coliseum. That boss I had to do like four times. It really got on my nerves. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think I did like three, four times. After that, I was like, oh, I got to get good. And if I got so good. I was doing like, I got combos. I got frame cancellations. It's bad. Like I'm, I'm a true sweat right now. Um, so yeah, the, the whole rest of the game, I beat everything. Um, like from Abzu on, I, I don't think I lost anybody. Wow, James, look at you. Yeah. 
I guess you really are a gamer. That's crazy. True mm-hmm. gamer. Yeah. But <laughs> I, I do want to shout out the Final Fantasy Phantom because I was playing a four year old game based on a like a 30 year old game or so. Uh, yeah. And I had I didn't get anything spoiled. So like even watching videos online of like how to get good. Nobody spoiled anything. So shout out yeah. to Final Fantasy fans for sure. That's true. Because even like now this from this weekend, I haven't really seen anything like really spoiler heavy on the second game. So um, that's good. Yeah. Shout out to so, the I have a question. Yes. Did you learn to play the piano? I think that's only in, that's so that's in that's something that's happening in this game that you can do in, oh, in part okay. two, right. but you, you was, can't do it in part I, one. I was watching a video of someone playing uh, in the club on the piano with Cloud. Yeah, so that's like a, that's like a part two. Funniest thing I've yeah. ever seen in my life. <laughs> um. So James, did you start part two yet or not yet? No, not yet. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay. So this was this was like three a.m. that I. All right. So yes, today I, I went you beat straight to sleep afterwards. Yeah. Um, okay. And then. I, I am going to play intermission. Um, I'll probably play it today because it, it, yeah, it's only like four hours. So. so I will say, I know that you, I know that last week I said that you have to play intermission. You actually really don't have to play intermission. <laughs> yeah. I actually watched a, um, a video yeah. of like what it covers. So yeah, I, I spoiled myself on that one on purpose. But, yeah. It's nothing um, that spoils the main story. It's just like, it introduces a character that's going to be in this game. Yeah. But if you, you didn't play intermission, I don't think you're going to be super confused when she joins up with the rest of the when she is introduced in this game. So I think you can skip it if you really wanted to. Yeah, so that's my that's my Final Fantasy updates. Um, what, well, did, what do you rate it, the game? Do you, how did you oh, like it? Oh, my rating. Yeah, uh, you gotta tell man, us. At the end, I started getting annoyed because there was so many cutscenes. I was like, hey, at what point do I get to play the game? Because <laughs> yeah, I think the, la- like the last two chapters, all the boss fights were basically just cutscenes. Um, mm-hmm. Like I would get a couple attacks in, cutscene, couple attacks, cutscene, especially... Um, the boss before Sephiroth, uh, I forgot what that thing's name was. Yeah, 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 that thing. Yes, yeah. I know exactly was, what you're talking about. It was all cutscenes. Sephiroth was half a half the thing was cutscenes. It might as well have been a QTE game because uh, <laughs> yeah, they did they did not let you play. Uh, they let they let Sephiroth dice you up though, um, <laughs> uninter- uninterrupted. But, I mean, yeah, I still I still beat him first try. So um, yeah, but I give it an eight. I like it. Um, I'm gonna go on to the next one. Uh, into Rebirth, fresh with some with some Final Fantasy knowledge on me. So yes. Awesome. Look at that. I turned you into a Final Fantasy fan. I'm going to take all the credit for it. It doesn't matter if anyone else told you <laughs> yeah, to play we'll, it. I'm going to we'll take credit, the credit Shannon for that it. <laughs> I was on here every week telling you to play Final Fantasy. I'm glad yeah. that you like it. Um, I'll probably beat Rebirth before you do. Probably. Nah, it's, it's not a race. It's not a race. It's, I mean, it's not a race, but I know that you're not. Okay, I'll get into like, I'm going to give like a very generic spoiler free review because I started playing. But um, anyway, what else did you do? Um, before I oh, get it. um, what I do? Uh, I watched the Avatar live action. Uh, the whole thing. So, yeah, the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. So actually, my Netflix. I was kicked off on my TV, but on my phone, I could watch Netflix on my parents' account. So nice. yeah, I watched it no problem. Um, so I, I, I don't know what made me think to check on my phone. I, actually, I was on the bus uh, coming back home, but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I just looked and I was like, oh, stop! I'm still logged in. So I watched <laughs> it at uh two X speed. So. 2x speed <laughs> yeah it was a good good show uh it's like we're gonna get into that later so i'll give you guys some better review there okay um i did get a new spider-man comic here we go if you watch it on youtube mm-hmm. spider-man miles morales number 17 i ordered the um variant cover but i guess i ordered it too late um because you can like go on the app and select which cover you want mm-hmm. but uh, i think i did it the week of and that was probably too too short of a turnaround so i didn't get the variant cover this time so it'll probably be waiting on me next time i pick a comic up okay uh, nice and then I got the uh, the Storm Asics that I I ordered a couple weeks ago. Uh, I got those, so here they are. Here you are. And the X Men box. Ooh. Yes, watch sir. Watch this on YouTube. Uh, watch this on YouTube. But if you're unfamiliar, it's the Marvel Storm Asics uh, and Kith collab. So here's the actual shoes, Storm. Ooh, those are nice. Uh, I great. like those. Try to get a little closer so you can see the detail. So it's like some pony hair um, on the gray and yeah. the black. Yeah. Uh, those are nice. The laces. And then I also have the uh, card. So they all come with a card. Um, some of them are have higher rarities. So this card happens to be, oh, this is Storm with the orange background. Nice. Uh, but nice. yeah, this card's nice. rarity is one out of 299. So pretty rare. Uh, and That's it comes hot. inside this uh, this plastic thing here. So yeah, definitely excited about that. Uh, some of them come, the more rare ones come with an actual PSA grading on them already. So mm-hmm. those are the uh, extremely rare. Uh, when they first came out, those were going for tens of thousands, the PSA graded ones. So uh, this one, I haven't looked at the card value. It's it's, it's not about the card value, but uh, just just to know, just because I'm curious. <laughs> uh, 
but yeah, I actually like the shoes a lot because just because I like Storm, but I also like black, white, and gray. So, yeah. um, can yeah. can you remind me? Do you wear these sneakers or do you are you just collecting them? Like, have yeah, you no, worn the other? Oh, you wear them? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, some people my, don't the wear Wolverine them. ones. I wore. I don't know the last time I wore them. Actually, I wore them last week sometime, but yeah, I wore them pretty often. I was going to wear the Storm ones yesterday, but it was raining, and then they yeah. have like the pony hair, so I couldn't. I couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna get the? Are you gonna get any shoes from the Puma and One Piece collection? Oh yeah, um, I was considering it. I might, I may get them. I, I do like Pumas, um, and they're comfortable. So, if it's if it's not hard to get, and I can just one click order online without having to camp out or anything like that, I'll, I'll do it. But I won't yeah. pay resale for them though. No, no, no. no. You're gonna get no, the no, gear sixes. I haven't actually. Yeah, this year sixes. I haven't actually even looked at them to like see like what they actually look like. I have to do that. Yeah, they're all pretty. Cool. They should, they should well. invite me to design. Yeah, they should invite me to design. I'm, I'm a stepper. If anyone didn't know. Anti weeb stepper. I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself that title. So you've said we've heard this Listen, if they if they watching the podcast, they should know you're a stepper. Yeah, and not on my Instagram is back. You guys can see uh see me stepping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um uh that's all was my that nerdy all things, though. That's all your nerdy things. All right. Yeah. Um well, my nerdy things, I have finally gotten back. So I've started my 30 and so for my 30 anime. Does it count if I've already seen something, but I'm rewatching it because I forgot what happened? Oh man, this is your thing. I think you should be you should be doing. Yes, it does rules. count. Anyway, it does count. Yeah, so sure. sure. I'm starting. Okay, so I'm starting my backlog. So the first thing that I'm gonna watch is Jujutsu Kaisen season two. But I forgot what happened in season one, and I tried to watch a recap video, and I was like, I think it would be better if I just rewatch it. So I rewatched season one. And I'm almost done. I'm on like the last episode. And then I'm going to watch season two of Jujutsu Kaisen. Is that going to count as one anime or two? No, it's going to count as... Oh, right. Because mm. we went through this whole thing of if it's seasons or shows. <laughs> I think it's shows and not seasons. Okay. No, okay. That's we can... no, I mean, that's what we no, agreed on before. Is that, what we, is that what we agreed on? I yeah. feel like we were... I feel like Because we I, I was telling you I was watching One Piece and you're like, that should count as one show. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't should. know about that. It should. But I don't know. Should we count? The, should we count the seasons? Now I'm, the I'm, I'm, arcs. No, not the arcs. The seasons. Oh, the, the same thing. It's, an arc could last over multiple seasons, kind of, depending on the show. No, not really. That's not true. Oh, not really. they, they usually do an arc in a season. Yeah. Usually. We can count. I guess we can count seasons. Even though cool. I don't really think that's fair, but whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Right. Um, okay, so Jiu-Jitsu, yeah, I'm, you finished season one. Did you? you uh, uh, I almost. I guess you're farther than me now. I'm on the last episode, so I gotta watch. Wait, you never finished season one of Jujutsu Kaisen? I'm like at the very end, like you, because I will. I want to watch season two. Oh, uh, so you started? Oh, so you're rewatching it too? Got it. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, let's see where I am next week. Maybe I'll be done with season two, but we'll see. Um, so I'm doing that. Um. I bought Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Sorry. Um, Physical I, or digital? I bought it digitally. I was too lazy to go to the store and pick it up. Oh, no, so, I feel so I just, um, I just, I just bought it and downloaded it. I spent a whole bunch of time moving games over to my hard drive so I can make space for it because um, it is a large game. It's like a hundred gigs or something like that, or a little bit over. Um, so. I didn't get to play it on Thursday or Friday um, because on, on Friday I went out. So I also went out with some coworkers on Friday to, and we went to this really good Korean barbecue place um, in Koreatown in New York city. Um, and it was really good. Um, and I've never been to Koreatown on a Friday night. Koreatown on a Friday night is very fun. So um, James, I don't know if you're ever coming to New York city again, but when you do, you should go get some good Korean barbecue. Yeah, If I go to anime NYC, I thought you said you weren't going to Anime NYC. No, I said if I go. Okay, but you're probably not going, right? (laughs) You said you weren't. Uh, It's to be determined. Okay, TBD. (laughs) So we'll see. Um, And then, so after Korean barbecue, we were just walking around Koreatown, and we came across this really cool cotton candy place. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these places on Instagram, and they make cotton candy look like, like different characters. So your cotton candy can look like different anime characters. Um... And it was really cool. Let me see if I have a photo that I can show you guys. Yeah, I saw on your Instagram. Oh yeah, you saw it. Who did you get? Um, I got Luna from Sailor Moon. So I have a picture on my phone, but I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it. True Mooney. 
Yeah. Nice. So this is the cotton I candy. It. it took like 25 minutes it. for them to make. It was $15 and it was awesome. It was very well spent. Uh, I looked at it. Five minutes it seems like a long time. Well, yeah, because it's a character. They have to like make it. You have to shape all the pieces and like put it together. So, you know, and then they have multiple orders. There's only a small booth. You know what I mean? Like they had all kinds of intricate characters like Snorlax. Did and you eat it after? Yeah, of course I did. Yeah, I had to. I'm not going to just get it and just throw it out. It's cotton candy. So, you know, you can't really hold on to it. Oh, for you that put long. it in some plastic. You frame it or something. I don't know. <laughs> frame the cotton candy? <laughs> How? <laughs> okay. Freeze it? I don't know. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> no, candy I, <laughs> I don't think you can preserve cotton candy um it's a very delicate it's a very delicate fiber like just but yeah so i took i took my pictures and then i ate it and it was delicious uh nice. so yeah that was cool i've always wanted to like get that so i'm glad i found a place that did it um so yeah so didn't get a chance with final fantasy on friday um i had to do a little bit of work on saturday like some freelance stuff so Ooh, half the day perfect. yeah yeah half the day I was working, and then when I got back, then I played Final Fantasy um, for the rest of the day. And I can get... I just want to talk about it a little bit. I know, James, you haven't started playing it yet, so I'm not going to spoil anything. I just want to talk about just the... If I talk about the gameplay, is that spoiling stuff for you? No. Nah. Great. <laughs> I've watched the videos, too, so... Um, okay, great. Yeah, you should be fine. So Final Fantasy VII, the first game... It's kind of open world, but like kind of not. It's, it's it's like open world, but I feel like there's still like a lot of linear elements to it. But in yeah, this some game, chapters are more open than others. Yeah, but in this game, they kind of like blew that up, and it's like very, very, very open world. Um, and just like the map, kind of just is like remnant of like other open world games, you know, like Zelda or like anything else where it's like you have your objectives, but then there's like different things that you can, or like Spider Man, there's like different things that you can, there's like different markers on the map of like different things you can do. So like that, this game is like similar to that. And there's like, there's, there's way more to do now. Um, There's way more things that you can spend your time on and get like lost. It's not a linear game at all. It's, they just like blew it nice. way, way open. So like, at first I was looking into like how many chapters the game has, cause I wanted to know how long it was gonna be. So chapters, Final Fantasy has 18 chapters. The first the first one has 18 chapters. This game only has 14. So I was like, oh, it's shorter. It's going to be shorter than, than the first one was. But I have put eight hours into the game already. And I'm only on chapter two still. So I feel like just like the amount nice. of things that they added into the game, I just feel like it's going to make a for a very, very long playthrough, like even with 14 chapters. So um, if that tells you anything, you can just spend a lot of time doing different things so i've just been wandering around trying to like do stuff before i move on in the story um yeah i've heard it was described as open zone instead of open world so like you yeah, travel to a specific zone in the yeah. world and then if that's open versus you yeah. can just walk to the different places oh yeah exactly that's true yeah so open zone yeah because there are different regions i guess so the first region that you're you're in um yeah there's like a bunch of stuff that you can do um so yeah that's that's what i'm doing just wandering around i still have a still a bunch more to do before i'm gonna move on to the next part of the story in that area so yeah they definitely like it's definitely different they definitely like blew the whole thing up in terms of like your ability to like roam and do different things so yeah uh well, james when you said you were gonna beat me i don't know i know you don't like to do a lot of i feel like are you you're not a completionist you don't like to do a lot of like side things oh, definitely not no no yeah so you might beat me just depending on like how quickly you're trying to move through the story but you know, you take your time. I'm definitely gonna take my time because it's like, yeah, I'll be taking my time. This game is out. There's this is a three part game, so who knows when we're gonna be getting the third part? Probably in another three, three or four years. So it's like, who's to? Like I say, my money to get why the, rush? Uh, the ultimate edition with yeah. the statue. <laughs> but um, yeah, why rush these things? So yeah, I put eight hours into it, and I'm only on chapter two. So, and I'm having a great time so far. So that's that's nice. that's where we are. Yeah. Um, the only thing that, the only thing that's different, I will say like about the fighting mechanics, well, nothing's really different about the fighting mechanics, but like now there's more people in your party. Like there's five people in your party. So you can like, and you can only have like three active people like in battles. So like you get to, you can choose and configure like different party settings of the five people that are in your party right now in the beginning. I think eventually you're going to have more people in your party. So that's kind of annoying just trying to figure out the best battle play like for each situation that you're about to walk into so i know people like that but i'm just like oh now i have to figure out like who i want to use like like yeah, who's going to give me the best tactical thing. yeah tact tactical which i kind of hate sometimes but yeah it's it's good so far 
I'm way too early in the story to like say anything else about it, but I am enjoying it so far. And yeah, it's gonna be gonna be a good time playing Final Fantasy. Can't wait for you to play it, James. Um I'll get started this week. Cool. You should get started right after this. No, I'm kidding. No, no. <laughs> You're probably fatigued from being up all night playing the first one. <laughs> yeah, I gotta I gotta hit the gym, grocery store. I got I gotta do some stuff first. But then <laughs> I'll game it. <laughs> um those are the only two things I did this week that were nerdy. I watched Jujutsu Kaisen and I played Final Fantasy. So, yeah, we'll see. What, we'll see. We'll see what happens next week. Or where I am and what anime I might have finished Jujutsu Kaisen and started watching something else. We'll see. Um, but yeah, let's get into some nerdy. Let's get into some nerdy topics for this week. Um, on a sad note, talking about Sony, uh, we learned this last week that they announced significant layoffs, which affects uh, 900 of their staff or like roughly, I think it was like 8% of their, of their um, workforce. Their global it, workforce, work, yeah. Their global workforce, yes. Um, so a lot of the layoffs include um, people at Naughty Dog and Insomniac, uh, Gorilla, Fire Sprite, and London's PlayStation Studio, which I think they're shutting down entirely, which is sad. Um, also sad for Insomniac and Naughty Dog because like Insomniac like produces Spider Man as everyone knows and like Spider Man is probably yeah. one of Sony's most successful games so that's kind of crazy that after like the success of Spider Man two like they've also had to lay off people from Insomniac and Naughty Dog who produces The Last of Us also a very successful game so that's also um quite shocking to hear but yeah this is where we are and um I call this a post pandemic world like over hiring which results in mass layoffs after things start leveling out a little bit so post pandemic world this is another effect of another tech industry layoff which is sad um, and more burden on the people that are remaining yes for sure because now people are going to have to do double the work because you know people get laid off and they're not going to get rehired so that's extra work on the people who are still there for sure um and a lot of projects and games because of the layoffs are going to get canceled um, but we haven't gotten a full list of what those things are. Um, I do know we do know that the PlayStation Studio in London was working on something, and that game was canceled. But we don't know what else has been canceled as a result of this. So yeah, tough times in Sony. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. It seems um, like every week we come on here, there's another company just laying people off. Yeah, because Sony. Um, Microsoft laid off a bunch of people from um, from Xbox too. I think they I think they actually laid off a lot more, like fifteen hundred or something like that, in their gaming division. So, yeah, it is every week. It is something. You're absolutely right, Jaja. Tough times um, in the tech world. Yeah, tough times in the tech world for sure. But on the other hand, uh, the PlayStation Portal demand has exceeded Sony's expectations. So, there's where money's being made, I guess. Um, so. Sony didn't reveal like how well the the PlayStation Portal is doing in terms of numbers, but they have said that like, and we've talked we talked about this like a little while ago, like it was sold out um everywhere and then like restocking and selling out again. So it's like, I mean, I guess it is. <laughs> I guess they weren't expecting it to do this well, um, because of the type of gaming system it is. But I guess people, I guess there's actually a niche for this type of thing, for this market that's needed. So, I mean, there's that in the wake of their 900 person layoff, which is weird. Yeah, which is crazy. It is, it is crazy. Are you still buying a, are you still buying a PlayStation Portal, James? No, I was on the fence. Actually, I talked to a friend the other day and he was uh, talking to me about it. So he has one and he said, it's definitely worth it. Um, He actually lost his and had to get a new one. Uh, he lost it? They, How? They uh they took it out of his luggage at the airport. <gasps> um, But the, the airline gave him a credit, so he bought a new one. So uh, yeah, shout out to him. But wait, they took I it guess, out his I guess people wanted that bad. They took it out of his check luggage? Yeah. And yeah, they took the PlayStation portal out of his check luggage. Um, but yeah, he was able to report it as missing. And then yeah, the airline gave him a credit. So he's getting a new one. Okay. That's crazy. But okay. Yeah, it's wild. <laughs> yeah. That's why at I least it locks on mine. Yeah. At least you don't have to worry about your stuff being gone because again, it's literally just a link to your PlayStation. So that's cool. Yeah. So um yeah, he was he was talking to me about his. So I tell him I told him I use my iPad, but I just um Bluetooth a controller to my iPad and I do mm -hmm. remote play. And he said it's almost exactly the same thing. So uh, he said it's probably no need for me to get one because I was really on the fence. I was about to get one. I yeah. let you know here um a little while. Yeah, ago, you but... you did. I thought you were kidding, but I guess not. <laughs> oh no, I'm serious. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, no. If you 
it is exactly the same thing. If you have an iPad and a controller, it is literally the same thing. I guess like this is just better because it's more of a handheld experience. So like, I guess it's a little better than having to lug your iPad around um, and setting it up and then using a controller where this is just like all in one thing. So I guess like that is a reason, like more ease of use, I guess. Yeah. So, I mean, I still get the the joy of using the actual PlayStation controller. And then uh, you said the, as far as lagging, it depends on your Wi-Fi. So, I mean, if I get strong Wi-Fi with my iPad, it will be the same Wi-Fi that my PlayStation portal would be on. So anyways, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess it's the same experience. Yeah, I guess so. Um, just more hand, just more compact, I guess. Yeah. Um, it's not like it's super expensive. What is it like two hundred dollars? We said or three hundred. Yeah, two hundred. Two hundred. Yeah, it's not really expensive. Which it's priced well for what it is. You know what I mean? It's not a true handheld gaming system. It's just a, a portable extension of your PlayStation. So, um, yeah. if it was like one fifty, I think it would be priced well. Because I know when the Logitech G Cloud came out, and it was mainly for Game Pass. Like that's, I mean, you could probably do Android games with it, but it was like just for Game Pass. You couldn't mm. do much else with it. I didn't think it was worth two hundred dollars, but uh, yeah, if it was, I would I would go the tablet controller route. I know I mentioned getting the Galio. I think it's the Galio G8 that just came out. They're saying that's the best controller right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it's like I, an Xbox controller. If you're looking for a PlayStation controller, you got to go for the, the yeah. backbone or something like that. I don't know. I think if I had to choose between playing remote play on my tablet with a controller versus like this. I think I would choose this one just because it's less stuff to carry around and it's you can just play oh, it sure. anywhere. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like if you want to play, if you want to like take out your iPad and play PlayStation, it's like, oh, now I have to find somewhere to set my iPad down. There's no table here. Oh, and like, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, like it's like, yeah, you know, I feel like this is the just The controller easier. hooks to the iPad. So you're holding the, the iPad with the controller at the same time. You wait, don't have to set it down anyway. Wait, what controller hooks to the iPad? The controller I'm talking about. Oh, oh, oh. The iPad. so like it, it's the same thing. Oh, the Galio. Portable, oh, the Galio. Yeah, but and most controllers. And I have like my that. humongous iPad Pro, like the biggest one, <laughs> just like holding it with the controller. I feel like that's not a comfortable experience. I don't think. <laughs> I mean, it depends on what your gaming experience wants it's, to be like. Because yeah. I feel like a bigger, the bigger the screen, like not that big though. Big. Yeah, but like okay, so. Like they, trying to hold this up with the controller, I just feel like that's like a big. I feel just feel like that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> put a drone pilot out there. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's just like too much. I would rather have like this compact experience. I think, but I would. I'm not gonna buy it. Obviously, if somebody gave it to me for free and was like, choose one, I would choose this over that over the iPad. I'm not gonna actually buy it, but I can understand where the niche for it comes from for sure. So well, she could put some retro systems on there. You can do a whole bunch of stuff as long as it's not Yuzu. Yeah. So they're probably about to get shut down by Nintendo. <laughs> oh, wait, what's Yuzu? Is that the, what is that? The emulator, the emulator for Switch that's getting sued by Nintendo right now. Oh, yeah. You know, that's the emulator for, oh, yes. I saw an article about that. Yeah. They said that, they said that Breath of uh, Tears of the Kingdom has been pirated like 1900 times. Oh, yeah. I might long, be... For a long time. Yeah. So I was saying that when the game came out, I was like, I've seen this game being played on an emulator. I cannot yeah. believe they're playing Breath of the Wild on the emulator. That's yeah, nuts. I mean, it was only a matter of time before someone got shut down for that. So here we are at that time. So mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see what happens with PlayStation. Uh, Speaking okay. of getting shut down for stuff, before we go into the next topic. So uh, a game came out on March uh, 1st called Dual Revolution, right? It's on mm -hmm. Steam, it's on Google Play, it's on Apple um, Apple Store. This is more of a copy than Pokemon than Power could ever be. Wait, what's it called? Dual Revolution. It's a free-to-play game. Let's look it up. It is like um, an MMO version of Pokemon, but it's like the traditional 2D version of Pokemon. And yeah, it's a ripoff of any color. Choose a color. Choose a color, and it's ripping it off way more than Power World is doing. So, and oh, no one is saying peep about this. Game. Actually, yes, this but, looks more. This looks more in line with like a traditional Pokemon game. Yes, just looking so, at it from. A just wanted game. to mention that. I'm just wondering in the next week if I'm going to see any news about this, like ripping Pokemon off. But I doubt it because. Is this a new game? Is this is this new? Popular. It's brand new. Oh. It's been in been in development. It's got negative reviews, so I doubt people are going to talk about it. 
Okay. But I was just, I just thought that was interesting. It came this my... does look very similar to a traditional Pokemon game. It does. Hmm. But you're right. I haven't heard anything about this at all. So <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Let's see if people make a big deal about this. Let's see, Nintendo. Let's see how many lawsuits you want at one time. <laughs> do you guys think that nintendo can successfully win a lawsuit against um the power world devs no okay they also think that they are fully protected so i just wanted to get your opinion james what do you think yeah i think they would they would have stopped it before it came out if, if they really had a case here i agree yeah yeah i agree with that because they're not using like any of the exact designs. Like, yeah, they're pretty similar, but it's like they're not using names or like the exact designs. And like the, the, the whole game... gameplay is it's, like, it's different. Gameplay yeah. loop is different. Like, I yeah. don't feel like I'm playing Pokemon when I'm playing Power World. Yeah. Most of the time, I'm doing stuff that I can't do in Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Like, which is why people like so... it so much because they're just like, this is what Pokemon should have been. But aside from the guns, because Nintendo would never do that. But you know, everything else besides that. Um, yeah, but yeah, I don't think they're going to win either. I don't think that there's actually going to be a lawsuit. Like, I think that Nintendo, somebody, if Nintendo has good lawyers, their lawyers will tell them that they can't win this before they go in court. And all of that was free promotion for the game. All of that yeah. lawsuit stuff was just free promotion. Yeah, yeah. Free promotion for Power World. Yes. Did yes. you guys see the latest Pokemon trailers that came out? Pokemon Legends Z8. No, no. Mm. There's a new game coming out? I had no clue. Oh, you missed Pokemon Day? I, oh, I did oh, miss I Pokemon saw, Day. I forgot oh, that I happened. I saw a meme talking about that. <laughs> I did. Got it. I missed it. Saying that, like, they were joking about, like, everything that's going on, and then Nintendo, you come out with Z-Legends when you could have did something way better than that. I don't know. Like, I'm not a... playing play Legends? So, James, tell us about it then. What is up with this game? What is it? Pokemon Z-Legends? I'm not a huge Pokemon game player. So, I that's played... That's the Pokemon. mobile game, right? Oh, never mind. Then I really don't care. No, I see uh the Switch. So it's a, a new adventure game from the Pokemon world. Um Okay. There's more questions than answers out there right now. Um so they, they have a release window of twenty twenty five, so it won't be coming out this year. Um, but that's pretty much all the all the information that they gave us. Um so okay. it's gonna be coming on Switch, of course. Um well it says Nintendo Switch systems, so of course people use that as speculation to say, Oh, there's a new switch coming out, um, which mm. Nintendo still has not said. So um yeah, the, so, the trailer cut. The trailer was very, very brief. Um, okay. There wasn't real. There wasn't very much. It was more like an announcement trailer. Okay, so there wasn't anything about like what the gameplay style is going to be. Like, is this going to be like Sword and Shield and Arceus, or is this yeah, going to be? Yeah, it's going like... to be uh closer to the open world style, the open world Pokemon style, I should say. Got it. Um, but it says there it'll be greatly expanded in scope. But yeah, it didn't really show hmm. much gameplay or anything like that. Did people like Arceus? I never played that one. I heard mixed reviews about it. Same. Yeah, I didn't. I, I hadn't played it. Um, okay. I haven't played a Pokemon game since Shield. Yeah, I haven't played a Pokemon game since Shield either. That's why I'm saying like, mm. but I guess we'll see. Um, maybe they're taking this. Maybe they're going to take this opportunity to make it as close to Power World as possible. <laughs> I'm not sure that's <laughs> the direction they're going. Mm. Not with um, the guns. There was also some Just Pokemon like Go world. news though. Really, Pokemon Go is still yeah. getting. What is okay? What's happening with Pokemon Go? They're getting a collab with. Pokemon Horizons, the series, and then there's some new outfits and stuff like that. So uh, Detective Pikachu, he, well, Detective Pikachu Cap is coming to the game. Um, mm. I, don't, I don't really play Pokemon Go, so I'm not sure exactly what all is news here. How um, many po they, how many active Pokemon Go players are there still? A lot. Pokemon, they so still do community meetups. They like, do they're they? still active community, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. It says that there are about 21 there's million people actively yeah. playing Pokemon Go. Wow. Yeah. I'm pretty you can go meet up with Pokemon Go players anywhere. But I you feel like. like I've I feel like I don't see I've never seen you know how like sometimes you like when it's you're on the train or something. Meetups now. I don't think you're not gonna s I mean you're not gonna see. But I don't so think you're take not gonna see people far. like sitting I would, somewhere just playing Pokemon um, Go. I would think you would see them randomly, but not as often as like when it first started when it was just like everybody. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. But that's what I'm but saying. But I'm assuming like, if you like just happen, like let's say you're walking to Central Park and there was a meetup in Central Park and you might see a group of people, you know, doing Pokemon. Possibly. I feel like it's more organized now. That's okay. That's cool. That's cool. Do you still play it? You do, right? On and off. I get my little cravings for it and I jump back on and then, you know, but okay. I'm not really on it like that. 
okay. the PGC Pokemon Go community, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not a hardcore with it, but it's fun. It's just, you know, it's, um, it's, it's no very, Pokemon the bat- I, I was going to say a change of battery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, there's Terror Raid battles coming to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Um, so you have a Mighty Venusaur, a Mighty Blastoise, and a Mighty Charizard. So all those events are going to be happening. Well, they've started already, but they're going to go on through March 17th. So if you're still playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you have some Terra Raids with some three OG wow. starters coming soon. Uh, and then they're taking the Pokemon trading game mobile. So it's going to be um, a mobile oh, uh, game of Pokemon trading card game. So Oh, wow. I, I did think hear about that. You'd think they would have done that by now. I'm surprised that they're just now doing that. Yeah, same. I, I thought it was. For I'm, some reason, I thought I'm, it already was mobile. Yeah. I'm interested in them turning it, like infusing the mobile trading card game with the, the real life game. Though are they, I, 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 don't have, I don't know much about it, but I was watching a video saying like somehow maybe like you'll be able to use your real deck in this game or like, you know, like it was going to be linked in some way. But I'm That'd interested be cool. in about that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'm surprised that they haven't done that in the past, but that's that's interesting. So we'll see how that how that goes. Um, any other noteworthy news from Pokemon Day? No, nah, that was the that was the big announcements there. Okay, I can, I didn't so, even realize that was happening. I feel like I'm very disconnected from Pokemon now, or like this. While we're while we're on the card games, real quick, I just want to mention the Marvel Snaps March um, update or season that's about to drop is going to be X Men versus X Men versus uh, Avengers. So. I'm probably going to jump back on the Marvel Snap <laughs> for March and, and try to collect some of those cards. Nice. Um, I will. I forgot about that game, too. Well, I'll never play that game because it's a card game. But let, let us know how that goes, Chacha, as our resident mobile game player. Mm-hmm. Um, Sorry, I just want to go back to Final Fantasy real quick. I should have brought this up while we were talking about it. Um, But so Kingdom Hearts posted on the Kingdom Hearts like Twitter page posted um when Final Fantasy on the day of release of Final Fantasy Rebirth. Um, it was a photo of Sora in like the new world that's supposed to be featured in Kingdom Hearts 4. Like, and they were congratulating like Final Fantasy. And it just made me mad really to see that because like I forgot about Kingdom Hearts 4. Like I forgot it was supposed to be a thing. And like this just brought up memories of like just being strung along by Kingdom Hearts for years and years. How long do you guys how long do you guys think it'll be before Kingdom Hearts 4 actually comes out or before we see like any real trailer or announcement date? Probably about 2030. <laughs> 2030. <laughs> I agree. What do you think, Jaja? What's your over under on Kingdom Hearts 4? Well, there, I'm trying to pull up the, the name of the game, but there was recently a game, I think it came out on Steam. It begins with an N. It's like Nexius, something like that. But the gameplay looks like the video game that was in the last Kingdom Hearts. Do you remember? Or like the future vision that he had? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That mm-hmm. looked all futuristic. So everyone was like, is this the game coming out? Like they actually dropped the game that was inside of Kingdom Hearts. So oh. that was just a little bit of news, but I'm I'm looking forward for another Kingdom Hearts game. I'm ready to continue that story. I mean, I'm looking forward to it too, but when do you think it's actually when? Do you when? Think it's actually gonna oh, be yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not. What's, I, what's your over-under? That could be anybody's guess. What was the last wait we had to do? Like 10, 12 it was like, years? It was, like eight, it was like eight years. <laughs> I think it was seven. Yeah between um I mean, hopefully they don't make us wait that long but i'm not holding my breath and yeah okay let me just Square get the action is busy with final fantasy kingdom hearts 2 came out in 2005 and kingdom hearts 3 came out in 2019 so mm-hmm. yeah okay. 14 years <laughs> not even guess. hopefully i'm alive to see it come out <laughs> that's all i can say <laughs> i just feel like after such a long after that kind of wait they should not like th- what is your excuse for doing that again like you can never do that again because that's crazy they got so many other games that they just you know but kingdom hearts one kingdom, kingdom hearts has a huge fan so they're just going to just keep re-releasing they're going to re-release kingdom hearts 3 two more times before <laughs> before kingdom hearts 4 comes out no they're going to make <laughs> they're going to make whack games, games like marvel avengers and make everybody and you know come up off of that and just shut it down after a year and, yeah you know <laughs> well because so Kingdom Hearts 1 came out in 2002 and Kingdom Hearts 2 came out in 2005. So like the wait between those two games wasn't that long. So I feel like they need to get back to that. They need to go back to that kind of wait time and not this crazy 14-year wait time that we had between 
between three and, and not only that to to have the to come out like 10 almost 10 years later and to have the game be not like that different <laughs> you know what i mean like or underwhelming yeah exactly that's the thing that's the that yeah. is that is it it was underwhelming after waiting for so freaking long but you know what let me stop i've been on this rant a thousand times already the people are tired <laughs> of hearing about it but i just wanted to point that out that made me mad don't be dropping these little kingdom hearts things everywhere while we still have no updates or promise of a year that this game is coming out. So forget about you, Kim Hearts. Anyway, uh, <laughs> moving on to TV and movie news. Uh, Crunchyroll is currently workshopping a solution for Funimation users, users who lost their digital libraries. There's no information in this article that I found, just that they are working on it. So um, you guys know we talked about this a couple of weeks ago that um, Funimation is getting, Funimation is getting absolved by Crunchyroll, right? Is That's what it is. Uh, it already has been, but has uh, been Funimation absolved, yes. is, is actually closing down on April 2nd. So Yes, so everyone's digital purchase items from the Funimation library is going to be gone. So Crunchyroll is currently trying to figure out a way to amend that. Um, so we'll see what happens. Something needs to be done because that is still crazy when I think about it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, if Crunchyroll can figure out a way to fix that for people, yeah, that'd be good on Crunchyroll. Mm -hmm. um, but I heard that Funimation users who were absolved by Crunchyroll are going to have to pay higher pricing for Crunchyroll than people who are already using Crunchyroll. Did you guys hear that? I didn't hear no, about that. I didn't. Uh, that's I, I heard, I heard you, that. Song, in, that's what y'all are doing. Yeah, I heard that in passing. I don't know how true it is. I meant to actually look that up before coming on the podcast, but um, I hope that's not true because that is insane. I feel like Crunchyroll is already expensive depending on what tier you have. Um, So I feel like we don't. Yeah. Don't need to yeah. Any more than Keep that. it fair. Keep it fair yeah. across the board. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna come back to Crunchyroll. We're gonna talk about the anime awards, which happens this past weekend. Okay. Um yeah. So you guys have both finished Avatar. I want to hear what you guys thought about Avatar. Let's hear your thoughts. Nice. Wait, did you finish it, Shannon? I finished it last weekend. Oh, oh I gotcha. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when we recorded last weekend, I only had an episode left to watch, and I finished the episode the same day. So I'm done. I've been done for a while. Nice. Yeah. What did What did you guys think? I enjoyed it. You and James. Josh, oh, I wanted... you guys want me to expand? Uh, yeah. Yes. Like did you watch the cartoon, Jay? <laughs> yeah, I watched it. Uh, and Legend of Korra too. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, I well, Jaja, you liked it. You thought it was fantastic. So you said, right? Okay. I had to really think about it. So after I finished watching it, I really thought about it. And I still enjoyed it a lot, but um, it got a lot of mixed reviews. So like this pod, I listened to this other nerd culture podcast um, and I was like looking forward to hearing the review and I thought that they were going to like it, but they like did not say a lot of good things about it at all. So I was very surprised, um, but it's getting okay. a lot of mixed. It's, yeah, it's getting a lot of mixed what reviews. What was their I main think, um, critiques? Um, The acting and the story. Uh, I forgot what else they were saying. They were saying like they felt like this live action had to work to explain a lot of things where it's like in the cartoon. It, I don't know. I forgot. I forgot. I can't really. I forgot because I listened to it a couple of days ago. So I how forgot they, exactly what they did. How did they feel about the, the CGI? They did not like the CGI either. Okay. Well, one particular yeah. person on that podcast didn't like the CGI. I thought the CGI was good. I didn't think it was bad. Um, like they said that they were saying that Oppo looked really bad, and I was like, No, he didn't. I thought Oppo looked so okay, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. No, Oppo, Oppo didn't look bad, but I thought he looked interesting the first couple episodes. But like the last couple episodes, he looked amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if there was, I gotta go back and watch, but I feel like, like the last episodes, I was, I was like, Okay, Oppo looks like he looks crisp right now, but in the beginning, he could look kind of look kind of dusty i don't know i don't know mm. i gotta go back and take a look at that but i, I was saying that i had a problem with homegirls acting and Katara, as i watched yeah, yeah. the rest of it she's cringy she's really cringy but you know sometimes she had her moments but she was the cringiest person on the show i didn't mind anybody else's i freaking loved Sokka. i thought he was amazing and see yeah. i wasn't too i wasn't too warm on Sokka's acting to be honest his voice, it just sounds like Sokka from the cartoon. Like, I feel like he did the voice. But he's really not funny. 
I feel like they tried to put jokes in there, but they were just weren't thought, landing for me. I thought they were funny. They I were was landing. laughing. At, I was laughing at his jokes. James, what do you think? Did, did you have problems with anyone's acting in this? Nah, but I'm I'm just a casual watcher. So yeah, he watched it on two X speed. Yeah, I was about to say he watched it on two X speed. He doesn't really know. <laughs> he doesn't yeah. really know. Yeah, I got I got no major complaints. Actually, I don't think I have any complaints. I, I mean, I don't think it was perfect or anything like that, but I mean. I feel yeah, like I, I almost I, from watching. I feel like I almost had problems with Aang's acting. He wasn't as plucky as cartoon Aang. And I don't know if I like that or not. I'm still trying to decide where I fall on that. Um, but he had to I feel like he had to grow up really fast in this one compared to the cartoon. He had really long to like mature. This one he had to kind of like grow up really yeah, fast. Yeah, because they're conducting. <laughs> I was really surprised that in this season he didn't learn any other bending styles at all that was kind of crazy to me and, and I was that's, like, what how, that's how it was in the cartoon no in the first season didn't, he didn't he learn, learn water bending he yes, didn't he learn did. no bending until he got to the water well i remember up until that what he got to the north water tribe i don't remember him doing any other bending I unless really, he was okay. in avatar state Hold on, let me because I've it's been a while since like, I watched the cartoon. I feel like when I watched the Avatar, I was like, yo, when is he gonna learn the other skills? Like it took forever for him to learn the other skills. Yeah, I, I thought feel he like started that's not learning waterbending during book one, but I may be mistaken. He did because like, Avatar like... was Avatar was only three seasons, wasn't it? It, it was, was three books, yeah. The Book of Water, the Book of Earth, and the Book of Fire. He definitely started learning how to waterbend in the first season. I feel like when Katara was being denied being uh, fighting style bending, I feel like Aang was learning Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. like he was having a tough time, and then Katara was actually showing up. And from what I remember, I haven't watched it in years, and I definitely am not going to rewatch it. So, <laughs> so he, he definitely started learning in the first season, especially because only three seasons now. I remember that very vividly. He definitely started learning how to waterbend in season one. Let me, let me just Google that to validate it. Oh, one thing I really did like was how they showed before he was frozen. Yes, um, I like that too. I like, yeah, I like that scene a lot. When did Aang start learning? The uh, the invasion it? scene when they came and incinerated the uh, airbenders. That was that was pretty gross to see, but I mean, hey, it was a nice touch to add. Oh no, you might be right. In the original show, the earlier episodes of its debut season. Oh no, the earlier episodes of its debut season saw Katara teaching Aang the limited moves she's learned. Yes. So he did start learning. I remember. But then he's it's saying that he um he starts to like overpower her, so he stops doing it. Yeah, but I, but he still starts to learn. But in this season, he didn't he didn't learn anything at all from any other. He didn't learn any other bending this season. He didn't even attempt to learn water bending at all. So it's gonna be interesting to see how they pace it going forward. Is he gonna be learning water bending and earth bending at the same time in the same season, or are they gonna just extend it and put a whole bunch of new stuff in there which would then now allow because now they have to put new story in there for him to learn water bending so we'll see no, they could do the same montage. story but later why couldn't they do the same thing but later Katara I mean, I, tries I guess to teach so. about a water bend yeah. and then he overpowers her and he's like okay I'm not going to water bend Katara you can have that and then he, he creates his own water bending style <laughs> Because in this one, it was almost reversed. He kind of taught her, like, in the beginning, he was, like, mentoring her on how to water bend, And then they yeah. made it seem like she's, like, this self-proclaimed prodigy that she can just teach herself everything. I hated that line in the show. I, I learned how to teach myself stuff really quick. Oh, the cringe. Oh, the cringe. <laughs> I don't know. Katara, to me, was not the worst actor in this in this show. <laughs> she, was, she, was, she was not the worst. Um, Zuko's but... my boy, though. I love Zuko. I oh, do like man. I like Zuko. I like I like his portrayal and Iro. I like I like his portrayal too. I thought he he kind of stole the show. Oh, spirit. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I just feel like at times it felt really condensed. Like when what's her face the 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 princess of the water tribe. I forgot her name. Like when her and when her and Sokka like get start their romantic relationship. I'm like this just happened way too fast for me. Like she doesn't even know this man. So I just feel like it all happened really quickly. But whatever. She, he was the man of her dreams. What do you mean? She's known him from her dreams as when oh she God. was the wolf. Okay. <laughs> I just feel like, but I just, I just feel like that was hardly. I just feel like that was one quick thing that happened, and then all of a sudden it was a thing. So I don't know. I wasn't too sold. To honest, on that. I think everything was condensed. Everything. It, well, seen. everything was. Everything was condensed. Right it was. Together, so. It was. It was because again, it was eight episodes versus the twenty-four uh, or twenty-six that we had in the cartoon. 
I feel like how everything was paced, that was paced with everything else. You know what I mean? Like they were just as fast. Yes. But yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole thing but was kind of rough. All that to say that Avatar debuted with uh 13% better numbers than One Piece debuted at. So uh in the first week that it was out. Um, there was 153.4 million hours of watch time among 21.2 million viewers. And One Piece had 140.1 million hours in the same amount of time from 18.5 million viewers. So it did a little bit better. Um, but I also think that that is because Avatar has a bigger fan base than One Piece because Avatar is not really an anime, I would say. So I feel like as when it was airing as we were kids, I feel like more people watched it. So I guess more people were curious about this. Whereas like, there's a lot of One Piece fans too, obviously, but I feel like that's why it did a little better. Or because people heard that One Piece was so good, now they're interested to see the live action Avatar to see if it was better. One of those, I feel like is probably true. I would ex expect, uh, like, I don't know. I kind I feel like I would have expected One Piece to do better just because like the people who missed it, it was like a chance to get back in. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I mm -hmm. missed the One Piece train. They read they're doing the live action from the beginning. At yeah. least, you know, I would have I could actually catch it from the beginning. But yeah, I, I honestly I feel like this is the best live action anime that we've got so far. And One Piece is like a one B. It's not even like a two. It's like a one B. I don't it's know. Not, like, I feel I, like they're both right there. Probably. I think I actually like One Piece better than Avatar. Okay. James I'm not mad at that. I'm, that's what I, that's what yeah. Yeah. I, no, I, no. I, I, like, I like One Piece better just because I like One Piece better. So <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not, <laughs> James is but bad. I, keep it a bean with y'all. <laughs> would y'all go back and watch One Piece over? I would. The live action? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I probably so. Because that's how I feel about the Avatar. Like, I, I want to run this back, like, sometime soon. Oh, so me, I'm different. I don't I don't have a desire to watch Avatar over again anytime soon. So, but I would watch One Piece again. So I, I definitely liked it a little bit more, I think. Gotcha. Um, yeah. But both shows did well. Um, We have, Avatar has not been renewed yet. So One Piece got renewed, like, two weeks later after it debuted. So Avatar has only been out for, has it been two weeks yet? Or has it been a full week? I think it's been a full week. So this coming Thursday will have been two weeks. So we'll see how long it takes before we get, before we see a season two yeah, announcement. Yeah, Netflix do the right thing. Yeah. Is the showrunner involved with the One Piece live action? I forgot. Or did he walk Wait, what? away? Or was, or was that Avatar that the showrunner, whoever it, did the cartoon walk it, away? It was, that was Avatar. Yeah. The creators walked okay. away from the show. Interesting. Due to creative I'm very... differences. I'm I wonder what those creative differences were. Yeah, it seemed to know. turn out pretty pretty good. Yeah, it seemed to turn out from what I've seen so far. Maybe the creators wanted Ink to learn water bending in this season, in the <laughs> and Netflix they didn't. Couldn't take it. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe maybe they did it. Maybe they wanted to drag out book one a little bit. Or maybe something. yeah, maybe they wanted more than eight episodes to like fell, like fully tell the story correctly. But that's all Netflix was giving them. I don't know. It could have been a variety of things. But the show <laughs> still turned out good. So whatever. Um, we'll see. We'll see if it gets renewed. All right. Well, the Crunchyroll Anime Awards were this last weekend. I was telling James before you got on, before we started recording, Jada, that I forgot that it was happening this weekend. I wanted to watch it live. Yeah, I was going to watch it. Yeah, I'll probably still watch the replay yeah. or something. James was up yeah, was at 4 a.m. You were going to, what? <laughs> what? I was going to go to the uh, award show. Are you lying? Are you joking? You were going to go to the award show? Oh, I wanted to. I'll put it to, I'll put it to you that way. Can normal people just go to the award show? Can you just buy a ticket and go? Yeah, you can buy tickets and go. Oh, wow. You know what? I would not be surprised if you actually went. <laughs> yeah. I want to go. Wow. I'm going to make that Maybe a goal. Maybe next year. Maybe actually, next year. They'll, they'll invite us next year as a pod. So yeah. pack your bags, guys. Yeah. I want to go. I'll make that a goal. I'm going to go to the event. I'm going to go to the Anime Awards next year. It's going to be great, guys. Uh, but yeah, I would not have been surprised if you actually went, James. <laughs> that would have been cool, actually. Uh, but yeah, so, but James was up at 4 a.m. And he watched it, or parts of it, live on Saturday morning. So kudos to you, James. Yeah, I caught the tail end. Randomly mm -hmm. woke up. I fell asleep on the couch, and then I just woke up. And then I had a notification from Crunchyroll. And I was like, oh, snap, it's on. So I watched it. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, so let's go through, um, let's go through the winners. I wonder, did we have any upsets this year? We'll see. 
Uh, so we'll go through like the import, like some of the most popular categories. Um, so anime of the year, Jujutsu Kaisen season two won for anime of the year. Uh, yes, sir. You guys, you guys agree with that mostly, right? Or did you want Demon Slayer to win? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's who I voted for. Actually, let me pull up who I voted for. Oh, okay. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Yeah. I don't think I voted. You know, so I it, haven't it, watched Vinland season, season Saga 2 yet. But I would imagine it, it would it would have been between Demon Slayer, Jiu-Jitsu, or D, uh, Vinland season. Vinland Saga. Mm-hmm. So. I feel yeah, like the so show... I, I feel... For, uh, you did? Uh, Jiu-Jitsu Kaisen Season 2 for Anime of the Year. The Shonen always, the shonen always uh, win Anime of the Year. It's... I think Shane Tom Man is up there. Like it could have got it, but it's new. So I think that was the only thing holding it back. But it was yeah. really good. Um, best continuing series, One Piece. No surprise there. Is One Piece ever not gonna win Best Continuing Series? <laughs> I don't think it ever will lose. <laughs> Jaja, did you want for that? Did you want Attack on Titan to win? For best continuing series? Yes. Of course. But One Piece, you can't take that from One Piece. That's I, know, like, that's I can't even. I can't even. Come on. <laughs> They'll never not win that. <laughs> the best continuing series? Problem. As long as One Piece is out, it will take that award. It should it win will. that award every single year. Yes. I don't care. <laughs> um, so Chainsaw Man didn't win anime of the year, but it won for best new anime series. Um, James, that who you voted for? For best new? Yep. That's what I voted for. Nice, well, nice, nice. Not Zoom one hundred right now. Not Zom one hundred. Surprised. No, nah, I like Zom one hundred, but uh, Chainsaw Man. After I watched the um the anime, I I read through the manga. I was like, all right, this is good. Okay. Or I think I read the manga because people were hyping it up. I don't remember the order, but I like Chainsaw Man a lot. Okay, okay. I have to finish Chainsaw Man too. I started watching it and I didn't finish it. Yeah, it's, it's on really my list. Good. Uh, best anime film Suzume, which. I called was gonna win because it's a very good movie. I told you to watch it, James, but you probably didn't. I told you guys to watch it, but neither of you probably watched it, it right? It's good. It's on Crunchyroll, so obviously. So you, you guys should you guys should watch it. It's a very good movie. Check it out. Um, yeah, check it out. Susume. Uh best original anime, Buddy Daddy's one, which James, you watched that one, right? I've have yep. not watched that and one. And that's who I voted for. Of course. I add that to my list of 30, 30 animes this year. Mm-hmm. Um and then best animation. Jaja, you were talking about this earlier. Uh, Demon Slayer, nice. uh, the Swordsmith Village arc won for best animation. Yes, yes. Um, well deserved. And I agree with that. It does have good animation. Um, oh my god, you gotta see it in the movie theater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that. that is so crispy. <laughs> um, best character design went to Jujutsu Kaisen season two again. Um, have you watched season two, James? Yeah. Okay, of course you have. Yes, you're up. You're up on anime. It's the rest of us that are behind. <laughs> Y'all gotta keep up, man. I know. They also won for best director and best cinematography. Wow. So, did you guys on Clean House this year? Yep. Uh, I'm best surprised art- Demon Slayer is not on the list for. Oh no, it is on cinematography. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. They that went must for have been a close. Yeah, probably. Close yeah. Race. Um, they should show. I wish they showed the percentages. Like of how many people voted for what? Oh, yeah, uh, dope. yeah. Um, how best... do you how do you lose cinematography and then win art direction? Like it's fan voting. Yeah, it's just the fans. <laughs> they're just they're just clicking on things. Are they even really paying attention to what they're clicking you, on? Yeah, they're like no both of these categories. They're both so good at these categories. Let's give one to one and one to the other. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Best romance anime. Hor- Horamaya, the missing pieces. Haven't seen this one. Uh, best comedy, Spy Family. So well deserved. Mm-hmm. Love that show. Uh, Do you agree with that, James? Because I know you like Mash. I didn't like Mash too much. Mashley. Uh, Mashal. Yeah. So I actually Mashal? voted for Zom One Hundred, but uh, oh. I do like Spy Family a lot. So. Oh, you- they showed a trailer of the Spy Family movie during the Demon Slayer movie, and oh, did they? It's an original story. It's probably Thank not God. canon. Uh, I forget. Uh, I love original stories. I hate when anime yeah, and movies are just recaps of something that I'm going to see anyway. Yeah, I was like, am I going to go movie. see this uh, uh, like original <laughs> story? And yes, it looked like by the end of the trailer, I was like, yes, I'm going to probably yeah. go see that. <laughs> I have more of a reason to go see that than to go see the Demon Slayer movie right now. <laughs> like, like, 
I, I feel the opposite about that. I'm like, I'm going to go see a spy family movie. Like, why? But then the trailer but that, was good. But... That goes for any anime movie that's an original story versus one that is just recapping something that happened in a season. I mean, I mean, with Demon Slayer, it's a lot of, like, I go to see the fighting scenes in the theater. Like, I want to see how that looks in theater. Like, Dragon yeah. Ball Z, those, I can, like, you're not going for the story. <laughs> no, because Dragon Ball Z has poor stories. Has a poor storytelling. <laughs> um, but yes, um, is that a hot take? I don't think it is, but whatever. Um, I think it's a... Uh, you think it's a hot take? <laughs> everyone, okay, just checking. Well, no, not the diehard fanboys of Dragon Ball Z. I think that they would disagree, but it's true though. Sorry, guys. Um, sorry, best action anime. Jujutsu Kaisen also wins for best action. Um. Do you guys think that that should so Jaja? I would since you're heavy on the Demon Slayer right now. Do you agree or and Chainsaw Man? Do you, do you agree with this? I was about to say the this Twitter? one is tough. This is a tough one. Who'd you vote for? James? Chainsaw Man was crazy. You voted for Jujutsu that. Kaisen, okay? But over, the way over Chainsaw people Man. Are talking about Jujutsu Kaisen season two, I would expect it to be the winner because people. That's why I'm trying to rush through season one because I didn't like season like I'm not enjoying season one that much. But mm. people tell me season two is like the best thing ever. You didn't so, like season one? I'm, it's, it's all right. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Season two <laughs> will get you. You get you get probably one or two episodes, and then the whole rest of the season is basically one big fight scene. At, at some point, I was like, all right, this, this might be too much action because I don't in, know what's going in on. In season here. one or two? <laughs> season two. Oh, no. Oh, I'm no. ready for that. I'm no. ready for that. I, oh, I can't that. wait. You just turned me off to the whole thing. Now I don't even want to watch it. No, nah, you, you got to watch it, though. You got to watch it. Okay, whatever. I hate I hate anime like that. I really do. There was a lot of action in Chainsaw Man. Like he he gets it in and like yeah. But I guess compared to Demon Slayer and Jujutsu Kaisen, it's like chill, chill Chainsaw Man. You're gonna have your shine probably later. Yeah, yeah. Probably. Well, once you see the action in season two, you're gonna be like, all right, this was this was the clear winner here. Fine. Got it. Even over One Piece. Yes. Yeah. Also, Even keep in mind though that the uh the strikes at Mappa were happening during this, so like some the animation. Mm. the animators and even the voice actors uh strike was happening too so oh, uh, right. one of the episodes they they just stopped any voice acting people weren't even people uh, weren't talking getting punched they, they it was just yeah just music just a symphony what it was yeah it was it <laughs> was just a whole straight episode smoke. straight smoke well i mean they had a couple lines of dialogue but then it was it was a lot of smoke from there on out. interesting okay okay i guess we'll, we'll we'll see what happens that's that's very interesting uh yeah. Demon Slayer won for best fantasy anime over Mashal, Ranking of Kings, Ugh. Hell's Paradise, The Ancient Magus Bride. Did you vote for Demon Slayer, James? Yeah. That's probably I, I'm I'm interested to see the second season of Ranking of Kings, but I'm pretty sure Demon Slayer will win that one. Yeah. Um, best drama, Attack on Titan. Uh, I guess. Over, I mean, yeah, over the other, over the other ones that were in on. here. Then I guess to your eternities in here. That's your anime, Josh. The saga season one had a lot of drama. Like that was, like that was. I like the drama in season in Villain Saga. I gotta um, finish to watching your eternity. Yeah. I didn't see season two. I gotta watch season two. But season I gotta one finish, was. Pretty... I gotta finish season one. I was enjoying it, but it was a little sad for me, so I stopped. But I gotta pick it back up. But and when you say drama, like Attack on Titan, come on. Drama. Hey, yes. I'm so glad that Attack We're on Titan. We're killing is... everyone in the whole world. I'm glad <laughs> Attack on Attack on Titan. As much as I liked it, I was annoyed with it towards the end. I'm glad it's finally over, so that it is done trying to steal all the spotlight from the Anime Awards. Thank you. We will not be seeing Attack on Titan next year. It's gonna be great. Yes, I'm you will. Great. Oh, for <laughs> yes, are you serious? You see, time. this is exactly why they were doing this. Oh my God, I hate that. Okay. Right. <laughs> it's a scam. The it's special part two. It's all a scam. <laughs> a scam. Anyway, best slice of life, Bochi the Rock. Did you? I feel like you watched this, James. Did you? Nah. Oh. It didn't look like I'd be interested in it. It's like about a rock and roll band or something like that. It is. It is. Um, I don't think I'll be watching well, this. We got to see if it's better than Oshinoko. I might check it out. Okay. You report back, Jaja. Let us know if it's oh, worth watching. Yeah. In these situations, one of us has to do the dirt. I'll do it. I'll take one thirteen. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, it's on the anime of the year list. There's got to be something to this one. Yeah. Um. Best main anime character, 
Luffy from One Piece wins. No surprise there. Over the over Bochi from Bochi the Rock, over Denji from Chainsaw Man, over Aaron Yeager from Attack on Titan, over Mob. Is that his name? Yo, I never watched Mob. This is absolutely great. Now I have to watch Bochi and Bochi the Rock. <laughs> this is this list is crazy. <laughs> Yo. Like Thorfinn from Vinland Saga is a beast. Monkey D. Luffy, Aaron Yeager. Okay, we'll save him for a special part two. Denji. Well, Luffy, Luffy won. Luffy won that category, not Bochi. I know. I'm just saying, um, all these people are freaking this. Yeah. Are, are monsters. They're did monsters. You, did you vote for Luffy, James? Yeah. Naturally. Holy crap. James, oh, I feel man. like you're just I heavily. I can't wait I feel to like... be a true One Piece fan. I just can't wait. <laughs> I can't That's wait. That's true. <laughs> Uh, best supporting anime character went to Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, and this was over Hanj, uh, Hanji from Attack on Titan. This was over Arataka from Mob Psycho 100. This was over Hana from Oshinoko. This was over Power from Chainsaw Man. Uh, oh. And another character from Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, Gato. So... I bet you, James, did you vote for Gojo? I would have voted for Gojo in this I category, did. too. Yeah. I voted for my boy, Gojo. So I got biased. I would have definitely voted for Hanji. Of course he would have. I know. Hanji, the way she went out, man. Yeah. I would have voted for Gojo, though, too. So I, I agree with this one. I grew to love Hanji. I used to hate Hanji in the beginning. But then she became one of my favorite characters in the mm. end. And Power from Chainsaw Man, she's a dope character. She's a beast. And she's mad funny. Mad funny. So, yeah. I mean, I, I can see what you, I can see what you mean. Hanji's a good character too. Um, okay, so we're just gonna go through like the next couple of the bigger ones. So must protect at all costs, uh, went to Anya Forger from Spy Family. Um, and this was over when... another character from Bochi the Rock. This was over Boji, which I think we came head to head with this last year too, because isn't this the second year in a row that Anya won that category? Well, I feel like Boji could protect yeah. himself. Like Anya is someone that you gotta protect. Like uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Over Miri from Buddy Daddies, which I feel like that's probably like I feel like those two shows are similar, right? So I feel like that was probably close. Yeah. Uh over Pochita from Chainsaw Man. And over Suleta from Mobile Suit Gundam. Don't know about that show. Well, but Pochita's already he's she's kinda like He's not dead, but he's like no. But this this is just must protect at all costs. Just means like like this character is too cute to let anything happen to. Like we, uh, you know that that's what that yeah, means. Yeah, Anya, Anya's gonna win that. I feel like I feel like, no. I feel like last year, last year because Anya and Boji were both in this category last year, and I feel like I voted for Boji over Anya just because he's so much more. He was so much more fragile. You know what I mean? He was just a very cute, sad like sad things were happening to him. So I feel like I voted for him over Anya. Um, best anime song went to uh, Oshinoko. Uh, I agree, I think. Well, I haven't heard any of these other things, so I can't really say for sure, except for maybe the Chainsaw Man song. But um, I still agree with Oshinoko. James? I was mad. Yeah, I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this. You're not mad at it? Yeah, I, I feel like that's fair. Um, and then best anime score went to Attack on Titan. Bochi, for, best, okay. I'm, I'm sorry, but the best part of that Oshinoko show was when that when they did Idol. Yeah. <laughs> Every time they played that song, it was fine. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Um, so the best anime score went to Attack on Titan. Um, and this was over Bochi the Rock, Chainsaw Man, Demon Slayer, Oshinoko, and Suzume. Um, I think this is the theme song they're talking about, right? No, the score, like just the score for the entire season. Oh, okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Um, I think Bochi the Rock has been in every category. Yeah. Gotta watch it for us, Jaja. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it. I might watch it too. Watch. Let me see what the hype is about. Um, and then yeah, best anime opening sequence went to Jujutsu Kaisen season two. Uh mm. where are yeah, where are blues from Jujutsu Kaisen? Again, I haven't seen it yet, so I have no opinion about this. James. I bought a chainsaw man. Chainsaw Man. But, Ooh. Yeah, I like okay. I like the Jujutsu Kaisen opening. Okay. I, I'd be skipping the openings anyway, so uh, I, I have watched, no really, no really horse in this race. 
I I always watch the first. I have to watch it at least once because I have to hear it. And then if I don't like it, I'll skip it every time after that. And then if I like it, I'll watch it sometimes and I'll skip it other times. It just depends. Yeah, they yeah. they oftentimes have spoilers in the opening, so I I usually skip it. They do, unless it's Jujutsu Kaisen season one where they just lie to you in the opening, uh, and then broke your heart after. Um. Uh, okay, let's skim through these other ones. Best ending sequence went to Jujutsu Kaisen. So best opening and best ending went to Jujutsu Kaisen. So cool. I definitely skipped the ending sequence. I never listened to the end song ever. It's over. Skip next episode. Never listen to it. Um, James, did you vote for this one? Do you listen to ending songs? Uh, this one I voted uh Zom One Hundred. Okay, okay. Do yeah. you watch the ending? Uh, do you do you listen to the ending song? I feel like if you don't listen to the opening, then sometimes. you also don't listen to the end. Okay. <laughs> the Jujutsu Kaisen one, like they they mixed it in really well. Not not the song that is actually on here, but the "You Are My Special" part. Um, that one they like mixed into the actual show. So like the song would start, but it's still like the episode still going on. Mm. And then okay, it was it would leave you with a mean cliffhanger. So if that was the one that was nominated, I'd have, I'd have ordered that. Got it. Um, so best anime voice artist performance in Japanese goes to Yuichi Nakamura, who plays Gojo in Jujutsu Kaisen. So Jujutsu Kaisen, cleaning house this year. Um, and that was over... Well, you guys don't even watch subs, so never mind. <laughs> Did you vote in this category, James? Uh, I voted Attack on Titan. Which you voted Attack on was. Titan? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then English... Best anime, vo- uh, best voice actor went to Ryan Colt Levy, who plays Denji in Chainsaw Man. Um, and this was yeah, over. If you guys haven't I'm seen not, that, you should for sure. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. He talks with a lot of. Yeah, I'm actually watching. Ash. I'm actually watching Jujutsu Kaisen in du- in uh, dub, which is very unlike me, but I just find it's easier to get stuff done. <laughs> also, while I'm watching it, while I'm watching it in dub, so I had to get mm-hmm. over it. But here I am. Uh, okay, so we'll skip all the other. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And then the it's the other mm-hmm. ones are like best anime, like Arabic and French. Um, mm-hmm. so yeah, it was a pretty good year for Demon Slayer and Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, you know, what? Oh, I was about to say. Okay, One Piece won in two categories. I was gonna say is uh, is best continuing anime the only thing that One Piece is ever gonna win because it's so overrated. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty good, pretty good award. Um, James, did all of your categories? No, not all of them. There's like a couple of them that didn't win, right? That you voted for? Yeah, I'm shooting about 50% here on my votes. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna watch Bochi the Rock. I decided I'm gonna watch it too, so we'll both watch it, Jaja. Maybe that'll be my next one. We'll see. Yeah, most most of my thirty is gonna be. I'm trying to go current and then go back. And then go back to old ones. Yeah. Um, Meg The Stallion did came out to announce Anime of the Year, and she was wearing an outfit inspired by somebody from JoJo's. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yeah, my yeah. boy Bruno Bucciarati. Yes. So I feel like James, you were happy about that, huh? Good day for JoJo fans everywhere. Yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So that was the award. I like that dress. Yeah, it was. It when was. People cool. do these anime that... collabs. This is how they should do it. Not just yeah. put the character face on there. Actually, put some thought into it. But yeah, it was a really yeah. good dress. It it was good. Yeah, yeah. It it was really good. Um, and I think that was that was the only category she announced for, right? I believe so. Okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So that was the awards. Um. I don't really feel like there were any big snubs this year. Although some people in the comments are saying Vinland Snaga was snubbed a little bit because I don't think they won anything, but they were in a few categories. Uh, farmland saga farmland saga <laughs> mm-hmm. you watch season two jojo <laughs> no jojo yeah. you agree you agree with that you like vinland saga you think it's a farmland but simulator it's yeah <laughs> so then yeah. why do you like it it's like it's game of thrones anime version but that sounds Wait. good that sounds good though but james called it farmland i saga. i can understand what he means by that you gotta watch okay. it you gotta watch it <laughs> i mean that did not sell it to me that does not <laughs> it wasn't what james just said does not make it was a joke <laughs> and, yeah no people know. were up in arms when because someone people were calling it farmland saga because he was farming at the beginning of the show uh in season two and oh. like he it, it was legit just farming for a while um 
but there was okay. like character and world building going on. So I guess the the action bros, because it, it's a totally different shift uh, from season one to season two. So okay. like, oh man, season one we're getting all this fighting, like but now we're we're season, farming. So is in season one his dad was farming in the beginning, and I want that's who I wanted to see fight, and then we <laughs> never got to really see him fight. The one fight he did it was like, yo, y'all kind of. <laughs> Yo, that's who I wanted to see. And that's why it reminds me of Game of Thrones. Because it was like the guy that I think is the guy. It was like, oh, man, he's the guy. But we're never going to get him to see him be the guy. We're just going to hear about him being the guy throughout the whole show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll put that on my list, but it's at the very bottom. <laughs> um, <laughs> I really want to give JoJo's another try. JoJo might be my next thing after. Man, after JoJo's Jujutsu is so had... good. I'm about to read uh, part seven of JoJo's. The manga? Okay. Steal might, ball run. I'm going to I'm going to give it a second attempt after I finish Jujutsu Kaisen. That's going to be the next thing on my list. And I want to give Tokyo Revengers another go. I don't know, guys. I oh, was snap, watching I didn't it. see the latest season oh, of that. I was watching on. it. Yeah, I was Tokyo watching it. Avengers. And I was like, guys, I don't know. I don't know how into this I am, but I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it again. Nice. Um, all right. Anything else before we wrap up for this week, guys? Oh, random fun fact for you guys. Today marks 7 years of Nintendo Switch. So it came out 7 years ago. Seven years ago, time flies. Mm, happy birthday, Switch. One would say that it is time for a Switch 2 to come out. We'll see. <laughs> Not that I care, but it's probably time. Uh, yeah, happy birthday, Switch. Still the best-selling platform or best-selling console. So that's great. Um, All right. Well, thanks for joining us for another week, everyone. As always, you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at no. Follow us on Instagram. Do not follow us on Twitter because we do not use it. Uh, follow us on Instagram at Boys Nerds. Follow us on TikTok, Boys Nerds underscore pod. Uh, send us an email, boysnerds at gmail.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and rate, review, and subscribe on your podcast listening app of choice. Uh, next week is the 10th, right, James? So we're, we are, we're going to have a guest yeah. on the show next week. Let's tease that. Tease it out for us, James. I have to reach out to him today. But Gotcha. Okay. I have twisted another one of my friend's arms into coming onto the pod. So he pretty interesting guy he's worked in gaming before in the gaming industry so he'll be able to give us some spill on that and also the summer olympics is coming up this year so we'll be able to talk sports anime this guy's a big sports anime fan so we'll be able to talk about that i feel like we don't really talk sports anime on here very much no, so i definitely we'll get some uh, some fresh new takes on some things <laughs> yes yes awesome and now he's a uh, he works in research and development at nike and when Correct. i went on his when i went on his instagram i saw that brett brown and Tiffany follow him. And I love Love is Blind. I'm a Love is Blind fan. And they were, Brett Brown was on Love is Blind. And so was Tiffany. They met on the show. So I was like, that's so cool. So I'm also going to ask him about that. Sorry, guys. That's not nerdy. But people are gonna, people are going to hear me ask him about it. So yeah, yeah, you can look forward to that next week um, on next week's episode. But yeah, um, as always, I'm Shannon. I'm James. I'm Jaja. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye. Peace.